And we also got one promo that I made up to make somebody, uh... <laughs> as much as I want to lose my belt, not against Dom. Um... But yeah, I got uh, the promo. It's from one of the Twitch guys uh, that got made. His name's Chaos. That no longer has a tag team. I'm just going to make him a heel. And we're just going to simulate that and move on to the first match, which is, which is actually. Everything is loading up, so let me get the... Uh Uh, so that's when you can probably most look forward to it. But we will be playing it beforehand, you know, to test things. Uh, need me to do anything? I don't know yet, Shiro. Uh, other than create your character, uh, I don't know yet. Uh, because, I mean, I had Champ uh, create an arena, and he did a pretty good job of it. Maybe do that. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Don't know yet till the game is in my hands. And I can thoroughly look through everything.
enough uh, to do that, unfortunately, which really, really sucks. First off, here on the Game Attack Takeover, looks like we got the core pirate with a special guest. I guess he wanted his very own manager, Minibus, coming out by his side. As you can see, him trailing uh, close behind him. There he is in the background. There is uh, Minibus. Uh, core pirate out here going to go one on one with the demon. Oh, there it is. Kind of makes you wonder exactly how much the core pirate had to pay for his very own minibus manager. As I'm sure somebody the likes of short bus Eric is. None too happy. I'm sure Minibus might be furious. But none of that now. As Demon coming out here. Walking through the fire, through the brimstone. We go one on one with the master of money, the poor pirate. Be interesting to see exactly what role possibly Mini Bust will play in this, as we have had a lot of interference in matches here, especially in a big match not too long ago. Oh, goodness. Where it was champion versus champion, where the likes of Tom the Iron Man interfered, allowing Woody to get the upper hand, but all that's in the past, right here, right now. All we need is the bell. Ding, ding, ring, ring. Here we go. Demon Core Pirate. I gotta say, uh, Demon, he might be very, very intimidating here. But everybody knows money, the true root of all evil. Everybody has a price, everything can be bought. Be interesting to see exactly what happens here. And now, whoa! The power of the big red demon. And oh, a knee to the face. Oh, demon just brutalizing the master of money, the core pirate here. And whoa, there we go. There we go, now Core Pirate, uh-oh, not in control, being drugged down, face first, into the mat. And whoa, up and over he goes. Core Pirate fighting back here. And again, trying to snap the demon in half. And now, uh, Core Pirate looking to work over the legs. And now, oh, right on the back of the head. And now again, oh. Just working over Demon every which way he can. Oh my goodness, he's up. Oh, we're going to get, oh, man. And now, oh, quick left hand, and now Demon. Oh, being set up on that middle rope. What are we going to see? Oh, no, Demon fighting back here. Getting out of that real quick. Oh! Right there, sending the core pirate to the circle of hell, of which 
from he uh, comes, but no, poor Pirate. Fighting back, stomping away here now, as you can see, uh, Minibus bought and sold by the poor Pirate, cheering on. And now, uh-oh, rising knee from the poor Pirate, fighting back here. A little bit of chastising, a little bit of a premature celebration as we get some various right hands, but no demon. Now with some elbows. And now Demon, what are we uh, gonna see here? Oh, in the corner. He is now in the squared circle of hell with Demon here. And oh no, a reversal of the Demon Spear. Perfectly scouted by the core pirate. And now, oh, the leg again. Just trying to chop down the Big Red Demon at the root of uh, whence he came. And, oh, Demon still in this, though. And now here comes Demon fighting back into the corner with the Core Pirate. But, no, Core Pirate not letting it happen, not letting Demon to get the upper hand any way he can. Now, uh-oh. Elbows, top of the head. Poor Pirate still in control of this match here. Not looking good for Demon. And oh, the legs again. And uh oh, not again. Oh, now a kick. Uh, he's just trying to take away Demon's ability to even walk. Oh, a nice chop. And uh-oh, the core pirate here. Uh-oh, Demon with a reversal. Face first into the mat goes the core pirate. And now uh, over the shoulders goes Demon. But Demon's still in this fight. Returning fire. Oh, he's got him, but no. The core pirate with a reversal. Swing and a miss with that kick. Demon grabbing a hold of core pirate via the back. Oh my goodness, the power! Oh my God! The power of the demon here. Holy cow. Gotta say the demon seeing red, doing everything to take out the core pirate, swing and a miss, and oh man! Power, athleticism, everything. Total package here. But oh, an uppercut from the core pirate fighting back. Not out of this yet, but Demon with the upper hand. Oh, cow. Holy cow. Demon fighting back. Taking him down. Stomping on the face. Oh, a knee to the head. Oh, my God. He's bleeding. The core pirate is busted open now. Demon looking to take take his due of blood from the core pirate. The core pirate still fighting back here. Now quickly going for a cover, will this be it? Will this be good enough? Nope, only good enough for a two count. Uh-oh, drop fist, boom! Right to the face. Probably none too happy with him being bleeding all over his uh, suit, but Demon, not too happy to be wrapped up, fighting out. Quick right hand, Demon, uh-oh, uh-oh. Are we gonna have the Demon Driver, it's up! Core Pirate is up and boom, slam down to the depths of hell. Demon with the cover. One, two, three. Oh, th no, only a two. 2.9 count. Demon got cheated there. Core Pirate getting back up, but Demon is ready. Oh, he's got him again. He's up once more. And boom. Down, Demon goes quickly with a cover. And no, able to kick out that time. And Demon, frustrated. Don't blame him one bit. Oh, and there's an uppercut. The core pirate fighting back here. But Demon, not taking this line down. Into the corner he goes. And now, uh-oh, up. 
on the shoulders. Oh, man, a gut buster. And now, oh, man. Poor Pirate regain, regaining composure, but no block by Demon. Quick punch to the gut. And, oh, rejected. And, oh, a big left. And now, uh oh. Oh, man. Demon dominating this match into the corner. Uh oh. Uh oh. Again. Demon is up. Here he comes. Firing out of that corner. Demon spear hitting the mark. Oh, stomping on the arm now. Up oh, with the core pirate, not out of this yet. Quick elbow. Nice slam. Quickly grabbing that leg for a cover. Only getting a two count though. And now, reversal from Demon. Now Demon, once again, with the Demon driver. Oh, man, down he goes. Demon, quite a bit. No, here comes Minibus. Minibus. The bought and sold but Minibus with the interference. Allowing Demon to be taken over. But Demon's still in this fight. Punch to the gut. There you can see he is winded. He needs to get a moment's rest if he can somehow, some way in this match, hopefully. Uh-oh. I don't think he's going to get it that way on the top. Oh, second rope there. Now Demon, oh, quick spear takedown. There we go, taking a minute. Resting in the corner. Minibus uh, doing a uh, distraction, what uh, most people at ringside are quite good at here recently. And whoa, over the shoulder takedown. Now Demon in control here. Oh, man. The arm. Oh, what is this? Oh, stomping right on the side of the head. And Demon ready once again. He catches the core pirate. He has the core pirate. He has them up and driving him straight to hell. Down he goes. He hooks the leg, but no. Still fighting the best he can. Tries for a stomp, but no, the core pirate is up and trying to gain control here on his shoulders. But no, Demon fighting back. Oh, down he goes. Oh, a kick right there to the back. This demon once again goes back to dominating this match. And again with the leg. There you go. You see demon uh, winded, taking a moment, catching his breath. And he is ready, waiting for the core pirate once again. He's got him. Again, he is up. Oh, the power. And again with the cover. One, two, three. That does it. There is your winner. Demon taken down. The money man, poor pirate here. But again, poor pirate, not without his own good moves. You can see uh, right there. But one of the many... Demon drivers to take him out. You see one of the many failed three counts. Ultimately, he took the money man down to hell with him. And there he is right there. Demon with the victory here on the Game Attack takeover. See the evil eyes. Minibus tending. There, shrouded in darkness, is Demon. 
as we get on to our next match here on the G1 Wrestling Universe Game Attack Takedown. I wonder what is up next. Everybody stay tuned and find out. So yeah, just so you know, that is not minibus. That is the corporate minibus. Just so you know, what was uh, uh, possibly going to happen is if, uh, is if Demon would have lost, okay, the real minibus would have came out and beat the hell out of the core pirate. Okay, but Demon won, and everything's okay. All right, Minibus was not effective. And at some point, the core pirate paying for his own Minibus is going to have at it with the real Minibus, the corporate Minibus. Yes, Silent Hero, you are correct. So yes, thanks to uh, you, short bus Eric, wanting to have a minibus in a match. I obviously didn't want, to, did not want to do you uh, beating up your son. So Woody actually made a alternative minibus some time ago, and I downloaded him, and I figured, why not do that? It's just you know, just who am I going to give the other <laughs> tie him with boss baby? <laughs> shit so yeah that's that's something new that's something different don't see very often you know uh so i decided to give him uh the other uh minibus to core pirate and make him you know like a corporate minibus a bought and paid for minibus to help uh try and help the core pirate uh get wins and stuff whereas your minibus is not that <laughs> ah, shoot. So, yeah, up next, uh, if you didn't see the tweet, is the promo that I couldn't get rid of. It is from Woody Man. So, we're going to get to hear a couple words from our G1 champ, Woody Man. This was originally later in the show, so the fact that it moved it up to sooner in the show to get it out of the way... Wonderful, wonderful. Well, what's wrong with Demon's character is really all that's wrong with him is the cover thing. Uh, the, uh, the pin combo. That's what it is. The pin combo.
<laughs> Zero. Oh my god. Oh, that's great. Oh. Oh man. And you know, Silent Hero, I actually, I, I really did think about giving him to Clay because, you know, that'd be crazy. That'd be weird and because reasons. And having them, like, in a feud and stuff. Uh, but I was like, nah. Please don't tell me you're going to do the forever loading thing. They see him, him, it's champ. That's true. That is true. No champ, you don't need a manager. You're in a tag team now. So, my phone going off again. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a good, I love that Azir hero. Paul Heyman. That's true, he did. Yep, it's going to do the forever loading thing, so. Quit the game. Load up something different real quick. Trying to load all that wood. <laughs> That's true, he did. And you don't need a manager to win matches, Silent Hero. You've been doing pretty good at winning matches. Oh, there we go. Now watch, it's probably moved the promo. And it did not save uh, shit.
it didn't save, so when I loaded it back up, it said, like, start show. Uh, but it was... Everything's fine. It, you don't have to worry, Demon, okay? <laughs> out of the way, but still, oh, that's great. just the self-promotion promo. It should not take this long. I don't care if it is the champ. Woody man. Right, let's uh, quit out again. Uh, all the wonderful glitchiness that is this game. I can't wait for all new glitches in 2K18. Can you? It's just a promo. It wouldn't let me get rid of the promo. I mean, and I looked on a thing. It's just a fucking uh, self-promotion. So I'm just going to load it back up, and I'm just going to simulate it because the rest is just, just some matches. I mean, Woody ain't here anyway, so it's all good. We'll just pretend that he came out, he said some stuff, I'm the champ, hooray for me, and he left. It's official, it's canon, 
because that's probably what Woody would really do. He'd come out and say, I'm the champ, I'm the best, y'all love me, and that's it. Apparently the big deal, probably why it wouldn't load, is because Woody Man was coming out with a self-promotion and Jack Patillo interrupted him, but Woody Man defeated him. Woody Man comes out, says he's great. Jack Matillo comes out and says he's not great. And Woody says, I'm sorry, son, but you're barking up the wrong tree. And Jack Matillo leaves and is dejected because maybe he's right. And now we're moving on to the next.
Well, again, champ, like I said, it's who the game put there because of the rivalry stuff. I can't change it or I might fuck something up, all right? It's not nothing personal or nothing like that, so... Okay, here we go. We are back here in action on the Game Attack takedown on the G1 Wrestling Universe. And coming out here first, Funhouse. The House of Pain. We got Lawrence Sakamoto, James Angel. They are due to go one on one, on one, on one with a new tag team that made a debut here recently called the Champions. Uh, so now as uh, the powerhouse of the bunch, Lawrence, a little motiv motivational uh, speak from James. in the ring. Uh, now all we need is the champion to come out here. They are here. They are ready. All we need is the champions and their wonderful entrance that all I can say is I'll just let their inference speak for itself. Yes, the champions. Uh, we got the champ and El Champo. All right, as you can see, the champions are in the ring. House of Pain is here. Looks like James Angel going in first. The champ going in first. And now, whoa, there we go. As we got, oh, James Angel. Putting the champ through the ringer here, but no, the champ. Oh, quick left hand. James Angel. Oh, up and to the outside goes the champ. And now outside goes James Angel. Oh, right hand combo blocked. Return fire to champ on the outside. Oh, nice measure, measured. Oh, and now an elbow drop. Uh-oh, it is up to three so far. Need to get back inside the ring. And, oh, takedown, James Angel. Continuing to fight on the outside. And, whoa, little fancy footwork on the outside. The champ is down. And now, oh, right into the side of the ring, the champ. And James Angel going back and forth. Pounding away on the side of the ring to champ. Just, oh! And now inside goes Angel. Champ, the champ being put through the ringer here is James Angel. Uh-oh, off the ropes. Not looking good here. And, oh, elbow drop. We got a cover. 
Oh, only a two count. No cut in needed from El Champo this time. Oh, he hits the arc with that drop kick right to the back, right to the shoulder blade it looked like there. And now into the corner goes to Champ. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Funhouse looking to bring the house down. And oh, man. Right into the cover. Here we go. One, two, only a two count as James Angel takes out El Champo. Here we go. One, two, again. Only a two count again as now El Champo and James Angel continue to fight on the outside as Lawrence on the inside. Off the top. Oh, he misses. Now Champ in control as El Champo and James Angel get back to their perspective corners here as the tides have turned. And now the Champ elbows right to the forehead of Lawrence. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh, you can't see the champ, and you can't see this five fingers to the face. Lawrence is down. Uh-oh. He's not out. He's getting up, but the champ is ready for him. He's got him. He's up. And, oh, down goes Lawrence straight into a pin. Could this be it for the House of Pain? Only a two count. And now El Champo being brought in here. Maybe he can finish the job that the champ has started. Quickly going for a cover. What are we going to see? Only a one count. Lawrence powering out. <laughs> and now Lawrence being sent into the corner of Champo. Setting him up on the top rope, but no. Lawrence fighting back, and oh, drop kick off the top. And now Lawrence in control. Oh my God. El Champo not looking good here. Lawrence with the tag here, and in comes Angel. And uh oh. Uh-oh, El Champo fighting back here. Elbows now. Oh, that could cause some serious damage. El Champo, oh, got reversed. Uh-oh, Lawrence. Oh, again. Oh, down goes El Champo. Fancy footwork from, oh. James Angel, firm control of this match now, working over to the legs. Not looking good for El Champo, not one bit. And oh, he meets his knee face first. El Champo is down. And now into the corner goes El Champo. Uh oh, looks like we got a tag situation. And oh, big shot to the gut. Hang on, I'm, I just missed a call from my mother-in-law. One second, just enjoy the action.
Okay, that was my mother-in-law. Back into it in three, two, one. And Lawrence Sakamoto fighting out of the enemy territory there from the corner. After a nice serious back and forth between these two teams, Lawrence with control here, sending him into the enemy territory now. What are we gonna see? Oh, champ fighting back. And into the corner once again. Uh-oh. Off the ropes goes Champ and oh, oh my goodness. Big double team maneuver. James Angel not done. He's waiting, he has him, he's down. Not looking good for the champ here. And that is it. That is it for this match. As Lawrence gives a El Champo, a piece of his mind. There are your winners, the House of Pain, with a victory here on the Game Attack takedown. And oh, here come the Game Attack team themselves. Lawrence still in the ring. Oh my goodness, what are we gonna have here? Looks like Lawrence ready for, for them to throw down. Holy cow. Okay, here we go. We are one on one this time as we got an intern at Game Attack known as Parker Bowen. 
Gonna go one on one with a old school big name known as Starman. And oh, here he comes. There we are. He's here. And of course, he's going to go one on one with another purple person. Well, purple, pink, I don't know. Either way, he's from the stars. He is Starman. up and in the ring there it is reaching for the stars all the time Okay, I need uh, help with something. I'll be right back. Okay, back now. Had to help carry something in. And three, two, one. As Parker on the top rope, waiting for his moment to strike, he gets it. Boom! Down goes Starman. Amazing battle between these two. Incredibly athletic pair here inside the ring on the game attack takedown. As Game Attack's namesake own uh, intern Parker, giving it all he's got here. And now Starman climbing to the top. Uh oh, he's off. Oh, the elbow on the back, hitting the mark. Oh, Parker, he's fighting back quickly with the cover. He hooks the leg. Could this be it for Starman 1? And no, not going to happen. Only getting a one count. Swing and a miss. With that drop kick to the back end, into the corner goes Parker. And uh oh off. Oh! And now Parker fighting back, foot to the face after that amazing uh, falling star foot out of the corner. And oh, he hits the mark right there. Parker in control now. 
Starman back and forth with Parker for control of this match, stomping away. Oh, he's up and, uh, oh, an elbow to the gut. And, oh, a very low drop kick. Now kicking the legs, but Parker with a reversal. As the back and forth continue. Oh, my goodness, kick quickly to the side of the head. Getting out of that roll up and Parker in control and is hyped for it. So now Parker, oh, he's up and he is over. Oh, Parker with a Game Attack takedown of his own right there. Two, and not gonna happen. Not this time. Oh, stomping on the face of the Starman, right on the star. Starman, quick takedown. Uh, oh, Parker fighting back to the outside. He goes up off the top, boom. Hitting him with that splash right there. And now stomping, missing. And into the corner goes Starman. I say hasn't been uh, looking good Starman here since his debut. But now he's on the top and oh, hitting him hard, taking him down. This match, oh, again with more Starfall maneuvers. And holy cow, there's that athleticism. Now Starman up on the shoulders. Oh no! Around the galaxy takedown right there. Flying around, seeing stars now as he's covered in the middle of the ring. Two only to count. It's now Starman uh, going to the side of the ring here. Oh, he's up and, oh, a splash of his own. Now help it, uh-oh, nope, we got a reversal. Parker's not out of this yet, he's up and, oh, a double knee takedown. Now headlock slowing things down here. And, oh, some elbows to the midsection, Parker. And, oh, rejected there, Parker with a comeback. Oh, he's down, he misses, but Parker still got him, but now a knee to the gut, swing and a miss there. Parker still connecting with the clothesline. Starman not out of this shoulder takedown. The back and forth in this match is real. Starman quick snap takedown. Oh, locks him up and now elbows. Oh, right to the face of Parker. Stop him on the side there. Oh, Parker, elbow to the midsection. Oh, he's got him. And there's his game attack takedown. He holds the legs. One, two, three. That does it. Game attacks Parker. Show of force here for the game attack. Here tonight, we see the falling star foot from Starman. Other incredible replays from both of these men. And there's the failed attempt. And again, there, Starman tried to make him see stars. But ultimately, it was right here. Oh, the athletic takedown right there allows this man right here, Parker, to get a victory over Starman. Definitely show a strength from Game of Takeem here tonight after interrupting the match, post match of uh, Funhouse. I wonder what's going to happen next. Guess we'll tune in and see. Okay.
Uh, hello, Vathanatos. Welcome. Okay, up next is the triple threat match that I had to change at least one person. Damn it. Okay. Tweet has been sent out. <sighs> Triple threat match. Taking them a quick minute here to load it. All right, there we go. Now it's all nice and loaded. All right, now we got some triple threat match action coming your way right now. As we got the WGC champ coming out here going to go one on one on one in a triple threat match versus two others coming out first the dominating force that is Shiro as there is at least one man that has gotten on his bad side here as of recently and that name of that man is Tom the Iron Man but he is not here tonight. He is not in this match. It'll be two different people that quite possibly might succumb to the power, to the curiosity of the WGC title holder. As you can see in there, standing amongst the sparks and the smoke. Taking it all in. You know, he won that title back in a triple threat match here all too long ago at Red versus Blue Battlegrounds. There, finally, the champ is inside the ring. We can see who his victims are going to be, his opponents are going to be, I should say. Wonder exactly who has decided to want to want to be in this match. Oh! It looks like the DWO is here. There he is, Matt Thomas, the dumpster monkey as he is known. The lone member of the DWO.
now who's going to be last? Who is going to be the last opponent? The last person we got going here. Uh oh. It is Adam Kovic, one of the members of Funhouse, possibly looking for a bit of a strong showing here for Funhouse after what happened earlier uh, for the House of Pain, the tag team. Uh, Game of Tech coming out after that match, after they had won the match. So again, uh, quite possibly a nice showing of strength here for Funhouse if Adam Kovic somehow able to get a win here in this triple threat. All right, here we go. And there's the bell. And Dumpster Monkey going immediately after the champ taking on Shira one-on-one -on -one and Adam just looking on. and uh, But no, Dumpster swinging a miss as Adam backing up. But now finally, Dumpster Monkey able to uh, grab a hold of him. And oh, vertical suplex. Oh man, but the champ hardly phased. And oh, missing as now Dumpster Monkey off the ropes with the champ, grabbing a hold of him. Uh-oh, are we gonna see, yes, another big suplex from Dumpster just dominating here so far. And now Adam Kovic, oh! Oh, now quick right hand from Shiro, grabbing a hold of Dumpster Monkey. Tired of this going on into the ring here. And oh, a nice quick kick taking him down. Now it's gonna stomp away. As Adam Kovic tries to get back to his feet, back into this match. As you know, there's no count outs in a triple threat match now. Oh, big boot. And here comes Adam Kovic grabbing a hold of Shiro with a DDT now. It's now Adam Kovic in control, grabbing a hold of Dumpster Monkey into a swinging neck breaker. And now Matt Thomas is down, but not out with that. Uppercut, and oh, a DDT. As now the WGC, uh, the champ on the outside, now finally back in the match here. And immediately taken down, Dumpster Monkey, just brutalizing him. So now Adam fighting back, Dumpster on the outside, Matt Thomas out as uh, Shiro fighting back against Adam Kovic. And oh, Shiro suplex time. Is now Dumpster's back up, back in the match, and there goes, oh, Dumpster with the double axe handle. Oh, he's got him. Oh my goodness, choke slam. Oh, Dumpster. Monkey with the choke slam on the champ. Oh, trying for it again, missing Adam Kovic. there but now the champ is back up oh he's got him oh but no reversal oh he's bridged he's holding on two only a two count though is Adam Kovic now on the outside now Shiro fighting back oh he catches oh the leg and takes him down and now oh nope here comes Adam Intervening, grabbing a hold of him. Oh, sit down. Dumpster, oh, big right hand. Now Adam Kovic with a nice killer maneuver right there. Kovic killer maneuver with the cover. Oh no. Two and only a two count. And now Matt Thomas is back up. And oh, shoulder takedown. Shiro blocks, return fire. And now Shiro with a nice German suplex to even things up. And now Dumpster Monkey taking a quick. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, he went face first. 
Adam Kovic down. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's never a good sign. Shiro revving up. And oh, the SKO. Quickly, he cooks the leg. One. This could be it. Two. And oh, no. Adam Kovic kicks out of the SKO. Now, Shiro on the side of the ring, waiting for Adam Kovic to get up. But I don't think Dumpster's going to wait for him as he's off the rope. And oh, he hits the mark. And now here comes Dumpster Monkey. But Shiro's ready for him. And Dumpster, oh, with a DDT. And out goes the champ as uh, Dumpster trying for a quick cover, but only very, very narrowly getting the two count there. Oh, there's a kick right to the back. As Dumpster now. Oh, he's got him. He's up. And boom, down he goes into the cover and now oh he kicks out quickly but dumpster monkey's not done yet and to the outside with Adam Kovic but now Shiro's right there and he is not done with dumpster monkey and oh face first into the mat that has busted open our champ who now goes for the cover dumpster. One, two, only a two count. A little bit of blood never held down Shiro here. Oh, now a quick punch to the side of the bleeding face. As now it looks like Dumpster Monkey is just focusing on now the injured head. And oh, now Dumpster with Adam into the corner. But Adam not staying there. It looks as though Shiro might be out in the middle of the ring. And, oh my goodness, a nice vertical suplex. And there goes Dumpster Monkey. Now Adam looks to pick the bones of Shiro here. Oh, but Shiro's not done kicking the leg right out from under. Adam Kovic, oh, a big double chop. Oh, but he catches the leg, sweeps the other out from under him. Oh, we got... A submission. Uh-oh, but here comes Dumpster Monkey. A nice quick kick. We'll put it into this. Yes, there it is. Dumpster now. Oh, but Shiro with a reversal. Oh, no. And now he gets out of it. Damage has been done. As now Shiro locks up and into the corner with Dumpster Monkey as Adam Kovic on the outside now. As now Oe is vaulted to the other side but oh missing as now Shiro oh no a reversal from Dumpster now cover one two three that does it Dumpster Monkey with a surprise win holy cow there you see oh the choke slam early on here in the match and of course, there's that right there, one of the various killer Kovic maneuvers. Oh, right there, you see Shiro just dogpiled on during this match. Almost unfair, allowing. Getting a big victory there, Dumpster Monkey here on the Game Attack takedown. With a nicely timed reversal, able to get one over on the champ. I wonder what's happening next. Everybody stay tuned.
All right, just setting up the tweet here. Brittany Glam, if that is how you say your name. Now, it looks like uh, up next we got one-on-one -on -one action. All right, now after that vicious triple threat match with a nice surprise reversal victory out of nowhere now we got one on one falls count anywhere Dead man walking. that man right there solid snake coming out first here this is a false count anywhere match so nearly anything goes anywhere anytime pinfall submission here on the G1 Wrestling Universe as we got a former G1 champ. I want to say two-time champ. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken there. But now he has uh, got himself a uh, big opponent here who nearly single-handedly fought two men off at once in a tag match. Um, one of the more recent additions to the G1 Wrestling Universe, G1 known as Cade. It's coming down here, Cade. Uh, if you remember in the debut of... Uh, the likes of the uh, of another tag team uh, their first match it was that man from uh, Omniverse Comics uh, up with a person he knew pretty well in a tag team uh, but unfortunately Cade never really wanted to uh, tag for some reason just taking on both men definite big show of heart are now going to be taking on a former champ known as Solid Snake. And there's the bell. And oh, Solid Snake not wasting any time with the oh, long standing vertical suplex right there. Kate is down. Whoa, there we are. Oh, there we go, now Cade has gotten the upper hand and oh, right there, kick right in the middle of the back. And now stomping on the leg, a solid snake. And now off the ropes goes Cade and snake, oh! And now Snake going outside. Remember, falls count anywhere as he grabs a sledgehammer, comes back in the ring, and oh, Cade catches him. Reversal. Whoa, man. Nice takedown there. It's now Solid Snake again going to the outside. Uh, what are you going to see? But Cade this time sees him now. Solid Snake with a bat, but Cade getting out of the way. And oh, quickly catches him off guard and oh, into the steel 
uh, barricade there and over the shoulders. Cade here. Oh, and again on the steel barricade, but Cade fighting back, back and forth between these two. Oh, a big chop right to the face. And saw the snake is down. And now Kane, oh, right into that steel ring post goes Solid Snake. Lots and lots of damaging things can be done here on the outside. And both of these men are using all of it to their advantage or disadvantage. Is now, oh, Solid Snake has him. Oh my goodness, choke slam on the outside on that very, very thin padding. But no, Cade with a reversal shoulder takedown. And Cade now, uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's on the outside. He's ready. What are we going to see here? Oh, swing and a miss with that super kick. Is now Solid Snake. Oh, my God. Trying to just completely undo his head right there. A double X hand and a stomping away. Solid Snake not pulling any punches here. And whoa, over the shoulder. Reversal, takedown. Cade trying to get control back, but oh, up and over goes Cade. It's now Cade grabbing a hold and oh, oh, the arm of Solid Snake here. Uh oh, drop fist. Oh, right to the face. And again, repeated. And oh, third time's the charm. Cade pumped up here. Being singles action here on the Game of Tech takedown. And oh, there's an uppercut. Solid snake. Oh, reversal. A knee from Cade. And oh, a big chop. Big karate chop right to the top of the head. Oh, there's an elbow to the back. So you see the uh, ref just uh, looking on waiting for something to happen, a pinfall submission or something, as these two men just brutalize and just beat the holy crap out of each other here so far. And oh, now in the back into the ring we go. And oh, now a stomp right to the back of the head, Solid Snake. And oh, okay, here we go. Cade fighting back, but is caught. And oh, sent back out to the other side outside here at ringside and there uh, the uh, ref follows suit <laughs> solid snake just wearing him down uh oh uh oh not looking good here on the outside for Kate as he grabs him oh no oh no the solid snake power bomb the last ride here it go oh, ho, ho. that hurts just looking at it he rolls him up one Two. Oh, he manages to get the shoulder up. Solid Snake can't believe it, and neither can I. But though it looks like Cade is still out of it. There we go. He's starting to stir, but Solid Snake is right there, ready, waiting. He has him again. Oh, repeat. And oh my God, is he going to hit the steel steps? Oh, he does. He hits. A bit of those steel steps. Cade is out. Two, three, that does it. Solid Snake with the victory. There, false count anywhere. Holy cow, what a brutal, brutal match. Cade not without his good offense though. They're trying to chop Solid Snake. Trying to chop the head off the snake. There you see the failed three count right there. Oh, his shoulders and stuff hit the side of those steel steps. Ultimately, Cade could not take it anymore. Brutal victory, but a victory nonetheless. Right there for Solid Snake here on the G1 Wrestling University Game Attack Takedown. We still have plenty to come. The main event coming up. Holy cow.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time as we got uh, this rivalry that started at Battleground. Coming out first. We got that man right there, Silent Hero. Yes, keeps himself the perfect 10. Part of the G1 Nation Mr. Attack Club. Coming out, he's going to be going up against the recent rival that put an end, as you may know, to that comeback streak, Gus Rolla Rooster Teeth. And there he is, Gustarola. Coming out here, looking none too, none too impressed, none too thrilled to be out here, but he is here nonetheless as he is in this match. Gonna see what he can uh, put up with and put away a silent hero. Stop. He stops the comeback. Maybe he can stop him here in this match. All right. Everybody's out here. Silent Hero, he's ready. Gus uh, limbering up. Got to get ready. And there is the bell. Uh-oh. Controller turned off. There we go. And now, Gus. Trying to take down Silent Hero early, but Silent Hero, oh, getting out of that. Silent Hero not laying down. Not out of this yet. Whoa, but Gus fighting back. Oh, on the arm now. Is Gus trying to brutalize his way to a victory here? Silent Hero over the shoulder, takedown, uh, reversal. Gus is down. And oh, a reversal from Gus. Oh, he's got him. And nice quick slam from Gus. Gus, uh oh, quick DDT right in the center of the ring. Trying to put this away early here. Gus with the cover. Only getting a one count though. Well, Gus has to get up and put in even more effort. I'm sure that he doesn't want to. Oh, now gonna try for a submission. Got him all wrapped up here. Just wrenching away. Is Silent Hero gonna tap? Nope, Silent Hero reversal. Oh, man. Oh, there we go, a left. And now off the ropes goes Gus. Silent Hero catches it. Oh, Spine Buster takedown. Gus is down, not looking good here for Gus. Uh, Silent Hero with the comeback. It's now, uh oh. Oh, there we go, Silent Hero on fire here so far. Now, whoop, nope, pushed away. Gus not laying down, not yet. And again, Gus trying for another cover, trying to end this. Silent Hero not gonna let it happen. Kicking out of there. 
Oh, block, return fire, but oh man, Gus on top of things. No, oh, elbows from Gus. These two finally meeting one on one in the ring again. Not so fresh anymore, but meeting fresh inside the ring. Oh, though at Battlegrounds, when they first met, Silent Hero was on the comeback, eliminating two of the three people on the other uh, team. And oh my goodness, oh, there's a the DDT. Gus, though, uh-oh, are we going to see the Sorolla Rolla? He's up, oh, he's got him. Sorolla Rolla incoming. And boom, down he goes. He's got that leg, we got to cover. Could this do it? Two, no, Silent Hero able to kick out. I'm gonna stomp away after kicking out, now stomping on the face. Looks like here, and it's down here on the ropes. Oh, all the way to the outside there. As Gus quickly falling, right, following right behind him. The count has started from the ref, as you can be counted out now. Silent Hero with Gus back inside the ring. And oh, man. Gus fighting back, and again with a DDT. Oh, skull crushing. Right into that mat from that DDT. Now Gus, oh, he catches it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. The kick right to the side of the head. Waiting for Gus to get up now. Oh, he's got him. Oh, my God. Oh, man, Silent Hero. Rolling him over. He hooks the leg. This might be it. One, two. Only a two count. Silent Hero is hyped. Gus getting back to his feet. He's got him. And he's pushing him right into that corner. And oh my goodness. Out of the corner. Oh, up and over he goes. Holy cow. The athleticism from Silent Hero. Ducking. And again. Oh my God. Silent Hero just on a tear. Uh oh, are we gonna see the Silent Hero Perfect 10 takedown right here, right now? And oh, he's got him, he's up, but no reversal, an elbow right to the side of the head, right to the temple, and now a quick jab, and now an uppercut. Silent Hero left reeling into the corner, but no, we got a reversal. Oh, and quick knee, and Gus is down, but not out as he pushes him away. A quick chop. Oh, the bridge in the center. It's a cover. Two. Oh, he's able to kick out just in time right there. But no silent hero, not done. Oh, big clothesline. Oh, now stomping on the arm. Silent hero, what are you doing here? And oh, man, face first right into that mat. Now silent hero, he's up, but no. Gus, reversal. Backdrop, oh my goodness, down he goes. And now Gus again with the DDT, oh my God, that has done it. Silent Hero is busted open now, Silent Hero is bleeding. As we get a cover, that might be it for Silent. Two, but no, he's able to power out, kick out. As now, uh-oh, looks like we're gonna get another Sorola Roller as uh, Silent Hero is uh, busted up, bleeding, bruised badly, I'm sure. And oh, down he goes. Two, no, able to get out of it again. Silent Hero fighting for all that he's worth. And now quickly with the cover, Silent Hero trying to put an end to this. Only getting a one count though. As you see, he's a bit winded, a bit exhausted here. 
I don't blame him after what these two have been through. Oh, he catches the leg and elbow right to the knee. And oh, an elbow to the face in return from Gus. Oh, up on his shoulders. Holy crap. Oh, the power in a Sorola roller right there. He hooks the leg. This could be it. Two, three, that does it. There is your winner once again. Taking down Silent Hero. Oh, vicious back and forth in this match as we look at some of the vicious DDTs from Gus Sorola just brutalizing Silent Hero. And again, another DDT. So there, the first failed. And again, more DDTs from Gus. He is just a DDT machine. And there's the Sorola Roller that did it. There he is, your victor again, Gus here on the Game Attack Takedown.